that's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. As all of you know, the new Simon Says Stamp One of a Kind release has been revealed, and I wanted to share all the new products that are included in this release. To get started, I've got the Watermelon and Key Lime inks. These are inks that Simon released recently that were in mini ink cubes, and now they have them in the full size. So you can get both of those colors, and they're perfect for summer projects. Now there are a ton of stamps and dies, so I'll get started on the stamps first. First we have the Artsy Fruits stamp set, which is a really cool layering set. It goes with outlines and solid images of all of the different fruits that you can build together to create really fun arrangements. I think this would be fun to make cool backgrounds with. I love these really cool fruits here that have sentiments on the inside. I think that's a really neat way to be able to use these, and I think these would look really cool with some ombre ink pads. You could also pair these with the Artsy Fruits as well. This one you see here on the right is the Dancing Fruit set. Now for something really fun and playful, there is this a really cute fingerprint stamp set. And I love all these little critters. I think they are so adorable. And you can use those little fingerprint stamps there along the bottom and stamp them underneath the critters. That's the fingerprint doodle set. Now for really great sentiments, this one here is the Big Greetings 1 stamp set. And it goes with a variety of different sentiments in a really cool font. So you've got things like happy birthday, congrats, big thanks, love you, hey there, things that can cover a whole variety of cards. So this is a great sentiment set that I think you'll really enjoy using. Now this one here is perfect for summertime. Everybody wants to stay cool during the summertime. So we've got this really cool, so cool stamp set. So these popsicles are layering pieces as well, just like those fruits. And you can stamp the outlines or the solids to create cool popsicle and ice cream arrangements. There are coordinating dies to cut out the images for this stamp set. So you've got all the different dies to cut out the little shapes of the popsicles. You can see there's one for each of these little popsicles and then there's also even the stick. So you can use this little die to cut the stick out and then attach it onto your card. Even the little border has a die, so that's really cool that all of these images can get cut out. Now, of course, everybody loves to color in flowers, and these beautiful sketched florals are so pretty, and it goes with some really nice scripty sentiments. I actually created a card with this for the Simon Says Stamp One of a Kind release blog hop, which will be happening on Saturday, so you'll want to stop by my blog and check that out. There is a die to cut out the big flower arrangement, which is really helpful if you want to be able to pop this up off of a card. And I really like that the die even cuts in between the stems nicely. So a new product for Simon Says Stamp are embossing plates. And this one here is so cool. If none of you have used embossing plates before, these are basically metal sheets that you use just like a die, but they're designed in a way so that way when it presses into the paper, it's creating an impression, not a cut. And I'll be demonstrating that to you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. Now speaking of dies, we've got some new dies here. This first one here is the Script Thanks die, and you can see it cuts out a thin line sentiment and also the outline. So you can cut this really cool delicate thanks sentiment, or you can cut the outline to put behind it, or you can even do some fun layering pieces by using both together. So this one here is Big Day, and this is really cool because it, it die cuts the sentiment on a little strip. And that's a really great way to add some different interest to your sentiments. Picture Book Bear, that one is really cute and a great way to be able to do some paper layering. You can cut this bear out and layer him together with different colors of cardstocks or papers and create a really cool colored effect. You could also even color this bear in. I think that would be fun to cut it from watercolor paper and color the pieces and then layer them back together. I think that would look cute. Now we've had the Floral Sparkle Wreath die set that we released just recently and they were really popular so we brought out the heart sprinkle wreath and this is the same concept as the ones that we released previously but this one's in the shape of hearts and they're really pretty I like that they're in a nice circle arrangement perfect to kind of frame a sentiment. Floral burst collage is a great border die so it cuts out these floral images along a border strip so you could cut this out and create a really neat shaker card with those pieces have some really pretty sequins floating behind. In that same line of that heart sprinkle wreath, we have the heart sprinkle trail. I think this would look cool if you had a sentiment and then had the trail of hearts following behind it. That would look really, really cool, I think. Over the winter releases, we released a few different Corbell dies. 
This one here is the Corbel wreath. So you can cut out that beautiful Corbel design into a wreath shape. And this, again, would be another great way to frame a sentiment, create a shaker card, all sorts of different ways you can use that. Also like that picture book bear, we have picture book fox. And this one too cuts out this really adorable fox, which you could then layer together with pieces of cardstock or paper. And like I said, you could even color this in with different coloring mediums. Frond collage is a really cool window die. So this cuts out this beautiful frond design. And then it also has that inside area negative so that it cuts into the paper and you'll be able to see to the inside of your card between those fronds, which is really cool. Finally, we have this really neat three-sided scallop die, which you can use to create a partial frame. And this would look really great on flap cards. So if you cut a flap and then you had this kind of framing the edges, that would look really nice to be able to frame that up and to create a really cool edge around your flap. So like I said, I wanted to demonstrate that impression embossing plate. So I'm taking my Big Shot machine, I've got my regular platform, but I'm also going to make use of a shim. This is a metal adapter plate from Memory Box. I'm using my cutting pad and then also the embossing plate and then I'm putting the piece of paper on top and the second cutting mat. So I'm basically creating the same type of sandwich I would for any type of die cutting, but I'm also adding a shim to give a little bit of extra pressure. Once I've run that through my machine, I like to run it through twice, I'll go ahead and remove that paper from the impression plate and you can see the really beautiful design that we have pressed into the paper. This has a raised dimensional feel. It's almost kind of like using an embossing folder or a texture plate. Same kind of concept. Now you can step up the design a little bit further by adding ink over top and creating a really cool resist effect. So if I take some purple ink here and I start applying this over top of the paper with an ink duster brush, you can see it, the ink is grabbing onto the raised surface of those beautiful designs, those swirly patterns. We actually have a background die, a 6x6 clean background die that's in that same pattern. And I really love it. I think it's really cool. So after I've added a layer of ink, I also want to show you how you can even step this up a notch by taking some darker ink and adding it around the edges. So the edges have a darker coloring and then the center is a little bit lighter. I actually used this piece on my card for the Simon Says Stamp Release Blog Hop. So if you want to see what I did with this piece to finish off the card, I will encourage you to check back on my blog and YouTube channel to see that video on Saturday. So here's a quick look again at that inking. We have the lighter color in the center and then the darker on the edges. And you can see by using different colors of ink you get different effects. In the center it's a lot lighter and on the edges it's much darker. But it creates a really neat effect to have the resist. Or you can even forego adding the ink and just create the impression on the paper and leave it like that for a nice subtle effect. So there are also a few other products that got released for the Simonson Stamp One of a Kind product release. This one here is some new watercolor cards from Suzy Plantamura. This is a really cute ocean themed set of cards. I like that really cute puffer fish down on the bottom left there that says you're swell. I think that's just so adorable. So then we also have some new sequins. There's the beautiful pineapple mix which has some yellows, greens, and mints in there. It's really really beautiful. And then there's also the watermelon mix which totally looks like watermelon if you ask me. So these are really cool sequin mixes that you can get over at Simon Says Stamp as well as part of the new release. So if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to subscribe or you can visit my blog for more information including links. I also have all the product links down in the video description below so you can find those. And thanks again for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I hope you'll stop back on Saturday to see the blog hop and I will talk to you soon. Bye!